So we still have two more speakers, and I think it would be a better idea to have three of them to receive the souvenir from the chairperson in one's time. So now may I call upon uh, Mr. Hank, one Bruce from Sankameta Foundation to share and his experience and also uh, his uh, knowledge about peace from his own uh, perspective. Hello, friends and both, and friends and bad, also. <laughs> um, I'm very happy to be here, I'm very happy to be invited. Um, I'm uh, here as a representative of uh, Sangameta Foundation, uh, together with my colleague Nico Ronalda. Um, normally, um, Sangameta was founded by Jotika Hermsen. Jotika Hermsen is a former Catholic nun and she was attracted to Buddhism um, by uh, my meditation teacher who was then called uh, Metta Vihari. And Jotika Hermsen was persuaded to uh, start a, a Buddhist uh, practice because Metta Vihari said to her, Buddhism is open to everyone. Uh, the meditation technique that I teach is open to people from all faiths, from all religions. And you don't have to become a Buddhist. You just meditate. And that was what uh, gave a lot of trust to Jyotika. Um, I'm sorry to say that uh, normally she would be here instead of me, but she's getting old and she's not strong enough to travel here and uh, speak. But she told me to give you her love and she is here in the in spirit. Um, Sangha Metta is actually uh, one of the um, foundations that um, are uh, left here, left over, um, are, um, you could say, produced by the, uh, the work uh, that Meta Vihari has done in the, in the Netherlands. Uh, Sangha Metta uh, organizes uh, Vipassana meditation retreats, um, uh, courses, and uh, also we uh, train new meditation teachers. And it's in, this is in the tradition of Theravada Buddhism. And actually all we do is build on the work of Meta Vihari. Um, he worked here for 30 years and there's still a lot of uh, uh, left of his uh, existence here in the Netherlands. And same as uh, this temple here is also building on his work. <clears throat> Vipassana meditation gives insight how desire and ill will uh, influence our thinking and, how, and our actions. And eventually it leads to the development of loving kindness, compassion, equanimity. And in the end, it leads to inner peace. And 
the inner peace can at first be a personal inner peace. But when the yogi goes home from his meditation retreat, this inner peace radiates to society, radiates to family, friends, neighbors, and radiates to the world. And this organizing of meditation retreats and stimulating in a peace of all these yogis has been done here in the Netherlands by organizations related to Metapihari for the past 40 years. And world peace may start with inner peace, with personal inner peace. And I'm very proud and glad to be in the footsteps of Metamiyari and to continue his work. And I'm especially very happy to be here and be invited here because Pamaha Champion and many bhikkhus present here help us with our retreats in Naarden and most of the time help us with the ending evening to give a Dhamma talk. Um, so I'm very glad to return this gesture, gesture and to be here. Actually, right now, uh, a retreat uh, like we perform all the time is being done uh, right at this moment. And I just arrived from there and in a few minutes I will go back and continue the work. So <coughs> that's what I'm trying to express. Continuous uh, striving for inner peace is uh, what is, I think, most important to uh, what the world needs at this moment. Thank you. Sunday, could you please come to visit?